Glen Torren FC Wikipedia Audio Glen Torren Football Club is a semi-professional football club that plays in the NIFL Premiership. The club was founded in 1882 and plays its home games at the Oval in East Belfast. Club colors are red, green and black. Linfield and Glen Torren are nicknamed Belfast's Big Two as they have traditionally dominated local football in Northern Ireland since the demise of Belfast Celtic. The two play a league match on Boxing Day each year, which regularly attracts the largest attendance of the Irish league season. In 1914, Glen Torren won the Vienna Cup, becoming the first team from Ireland to win a European trophy although as this competition took place several decades before the formation of UEFA, it is not recognized as such. George Best watched Glen Torren with his grandfather as a youth, but was rejected by the club for being too small and light. However, Best did make one appearance for Glen Torren, in the club's centenary match against Manchester United. History in 1964 a Euro 65, Glen Torren faced Panathinaikos in the European Cup and drew 2 a Euro 2 at home and lost 3 a Euro 2 away. In the following season's Fairs Cup, they faced Antwerp resulting a 1 a Euro 0 defeat away and 3 a Euro 3 draw at home. The Cup Winners Cup in 1966 A Euro 67 saw Glen Torren draw 1 A Euro 1 with Rangers in front of a packed oval before losing the away leg 4 A Euro 0. Glen Torren's finest hour came in a European Cup encounter with Benfica in 1967. The tie was played over two legs, the first being at the oval. Glen Torren scored a penalty early on and held out for nearly 60 minutes until football great use of copyright bio equalized. The match ended 1 a Euro 1. The return tie was at Benfica's Estadio de Luz. Part-time Glen Torren were expected to crumble under the pressure of the occasion, but again held out for a famous 0 a Euro 0 draw. Benfica advanced to the next round on the away goals rule. Glen Torren were the first team to lose out to this rule and the first team to stop Benfica scoring at home. Charity Shield, 2, 1992, 2015 In 1967, the club ran the Detroit Cougars football franchise in the United Soccer Association. The newly formed league had planned for an inaugural season in 1968, but when the rival National Professional Soccer League announced a start date of 1967 and a television contract with CBS, the league owners decided to fast-track their league by importing entire squads from Europe and South America. The two leagues would eventually merge and form the North American Soccer League the following year. In 1973 a Euro 74, Glen Torren reached the quarter-finals of the Cup Winners' Cup. They faced Borussia Mönchengladbach in the quarter-finals and were beaten 2 a Euro 0 and 5 a Euro 0. Four seasons later they faced Juventus in a European Cup match and lost 1 a Euro 0 at home and 5 a Euro 0 away. In 1981 a Euro 82, Glen Torren reached the second round of the European Cup and faced eventual semi-finalists CSKA Sofia. After a 2A Euro 0 defeat away, Glen Torren went 2A Euro 0 up in the return leg to force the game into extra time. The final result was 2A Euro 1, Glen Torren going out 3A Euro 2 on aggregate. The 1985 Irish Cup final between the Big Two saw another famous incident. Glen Torren supporters brought a cockerel, the club's emblem, to the match and a pig, painted in royal blue colour, the colour of bitter rivals, Linfield. 
the two animals stayed on the sidelines for the duration of the match. Glen Torren fans also brought a cockerel to the 2006 Irish Cup final, it too stayed on the sidelines for the duration, Glen Torren lost the game to a Euro 1, thus ending their unbeaten post-war record against Linfield in Irish Cup finals. This run of five victories over Linfield in post-war finals which started in 1966 continued until Glentoran's defeat in the 2006 final. In 1995 Glentoran played their traditional Boxing Day match against Linfield on a snow-covered pitch. In the first half the orange ball was damaged and not having a replacement the teams were forced to play with a white ball for the remainder of the game. The incident was used as a what happened next question on the BBC's A Question of Sport. Former Linfield manager Roy Coyle took charge of the club in 1997 and under his stewardship the club entered another period of success. In Coyle's first cup final in charge he gave up the right to lead the team out, instead he asked long-serving Keatman Teddy Horner have this honour. The 2002A Euro 03 season was one of the club's most successful in recent times. Of a potential four trophies, Glenn Torren won three, capturing the Irish League Championship. Irish League Cup and County Antrim Shield but fell at the final hurdle, losing the Irish Cup final 1A Euro 0 to Coleraine. The only Irish League to complete the clean sweep of all trophies is Linfield who have achieved this on three occasions. They won seven trophies in 1921A Euro 22 and seven in 1961A Euro 62 and also four trophies in 1955A Euro 56. To come so close to a clean sweep in 2003 and fail was a bitter pill to swallow. Recent History On April 23, 2005, Glen Torren defeated their rivals Linfield in the second last game but one of the league season. In the 93rd minute of the match, Glen Torren, who needed victory in order to have a chance of clinching the league title, scored a goal via their centre forward Chris Morgan. There were confrontations between the two sets of fans following the match. Hooliganism was commonplace at matches between the clubs in the past. However this has reduced significantly in recent years. Roy Coyle won 16 trophies with Glen Torren and is the club's most successful manager in the club's history. After eight years in charge of Glen Torren, Roy Coyle resigned as manager after a string of indifferent results. On February 14, 2006 the club announced that former Newry City manager Paul Miller was to take over the manager's position. Since taking over, performances improved and he led his team into the Irish Cup final with rivals Linfield. Despite taking the lead in the first half, Linfield won the game with two goals from Peter Thompson. He also led his new club to their biggest ever defeat against their bitter cross-city rivals Linfield in a 6A Euro 0 defeat at Windsor Park. The Glens have sought to reduce the gap between them and Linfield by signing Kyle Neal and Gary Hamilton from Portadown and re-signing former fans' favourite Gary Smith. Also arriving was another former player, Jason Hill, former Port Adown, and Newry City player Colin Feeney and promising young keeper Siren McLaughlin from Arts. Paul Miller was sacked as manager on May 17, 2007 after less than 15 months in the job, having steered the club to two successive seasons finishing second in the league behind Linfield. He had the backing of Chairman Stafford Reynolds, but the majority of the board and fans wanted his departure. The start of his second season in charge had looked promising. As Glen Torren led the league summit, they were five points clear of Linfield at Christmas. Arguably ten minutes of football wrecked what looked to be a very successful campaign. 
Glen Torren were leading Porta down 2 a Euro 1 with 85 minutes gone. Two late goals sealed Glentoran's first defeat of the season and ultimately led to successive defeats, and the slight climax. Fans were disappointed with the style of football displayed by the team in the later months of Millar's reign. On May 24, 2007 former Crusaders and Glenavon manager Roy Walker was appointed as Glen Torren manager along with assistant manager Billy Sinclair. Walker previously led Crusaders to two league titles in 1995 and 1997. After leaving football management for seven years, Walker became a football analyst with BBC Radio Ulster. He was quoted as saying, Glen Torren were my boyhood team and are probably the only club which could have attracted me back. However, on May 26, 2007 it was revealed that Walker would not be able to take up the post, due to not possessing the necessary UEFA coaching qualifications. Less than one week later Glenn Torren appointed head coach Alan McDonald as manager. Roy Walker gracefully walked away but stated in the Belfast Telegraph that he would not rest until director of football Tom Dick stood down. Mr. Dick then did so, but also criticized the club chairman Stafford Reynolds. Reynolds confirmed that he would step down if the right person could be found to take over. Alan McDonald, the new manager, has so far secured former Glen Torren player Rory Hamill, Daryl Fordyce from Portsmouth, winger Jamie McGovern from West Bromwich Albion and Nganon Swift's winger David Scullion and has re-signed Chris Morgan and Tim McCann. Darren Lockhart left the club at the time to join Crusaders on a one-year load deal along with defender Gary Smith. In January Glenn Torren managed to bring in Shane McCabe from Dunganon and Darren Boyce from Coleraine. Glenn Torren Academy Redevelopment Alan McDonald won two trophies with the Glens and also led the Glens to the final of the Seton TAC Cup. In McDonald's first season as manager, Glenn Torren defeated Crusaders in the County Antrim Shield final. The next season, Glenn Torren won the league after a strong race with Linfield. Glenn Torren finished three successive seasons. 2006 A Euro 2008, as runners up to three times double champions Linfield. Since then, notable signings at the club include Matthew Burroughs, from Dundala, Johnny Taylor, and former Lisbon distillery player Andy Waterworth for a fee of £8.30000. Glentoran's build up to the season included friendlies against Hearts, Burnley, and Ipswich Town. However, Glentoran's start to the season was delayed by a referee strike led by their association's chairman, David Malcolm, citing higher wage demands. This ultimately postponed all Week 1 fixtures. The following week, in the game against Glenavon, Glentoran's pitch was declared unplayable. Matches against Bangor and then Linfield were cancelled and this led to Glen Torren facing Bangor in the first Irish League game to be played on a Sunday. The historic scoreline was 1-0. a Glen Torren also unexpectedly reached the final of the Seton Tass Sports Cup 2008, a cup in which the top four clubs from both the Irish League and League of Ireland play each other. Glen Torren defeated Linfield with a 4-0 a win making the group a more open competition. This was followed up by a 1-0 a win in a home match against St. Patrick's Athletic. In the final on October 13, 2008, Glen Torren were defeated by League of Ireland side Cork City 2-1 a at Turner's Cross. On May 2, 2009 Glen Torren won the first ever Irish Premiership by defeating Cliftonville 3 a Euro 1 at the Oval. This was their first league title since a 2005 win, 
ending Linfield's three-year dominance on all fronts. Alan McDonald would in the coming weeks sign a new two-year contract with the club after much speculation, keeping him there until 2011. Glentoran's only summer signings for 2009 were Richard Clark from Newry City and Northern Ireland international Keith Gillespie on a free transfer. European Competition History Summary Overall Record UEFA Club Ranking Honours In March 2010, after McDonald resigned, Former player Scott Young was put in charge of the Glens until the end of the 2010A Euro 11 season along with Pete Beatty as assistant manager and Tim McKen as head coach. Young led Glen Torren into the 2009A Euro 10 Irish League Cup final against Colerain. The Bandsiders were the favourites for the match but the Glens were the team who came out victorious winning 4 a Euro 1 on penalties after the match ended in a 2 a Euro 2 draw. At the end of the season, Young along with Beatty and McKen signed a deal with the Glens to stay on as manager. Former Glen Torren manager Roy Coyle, who brought a huge amount of success, became director of football. Young stunned the fans by releasing a couple of the club's higher-profile players, including Michael Halliday and Keith Gillespie. Halliday joined North Belfast side Crusaders. Kyle Neal also left the club and joined Glenavon. Dean Fitzgerald and Shane McCabe were also among the players released. Gary Hamilton went out on loan to Glenavon, and back in December 2011 took on the role as manager of the club after being released of his playing obligations by Glen Torren. During Young's first season as manager, Glen Torren's financial difficulties escalated, until HMRC issued Glen Torren a winding-up order, and gave the club until the beginning of January 2011 to clear all outstanding debts which totaled over a pound three zero 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 zero. A fundraising organization, Spirit of 41 was set up, and to this day has raised over a pound 25000. On January 12, 2011, a special EGM was held which set out the proposals that would save Glen Torren from oblivion and change radically how the club is run. The vote was passed unanimously with the condition that three new board members were added, including a new chairman and the current chairman stepped down to vice chairman. Senior Honours On October 5, 2010, Glen Torren player Matty Burrows scored a backheel goal against Port Udown, which won Burrows the ESPN goal of the season and Sky Sports goal of the season. The goal also achieved millions of views on YouTube and went up against world-famous player Lionel Messi for the FIFA Goal of the Season award. Burroughs narrowly lost out on the award with many saying he didn't win because he wasn't a high-profile player. When Josa copyright Morinho saw the goal he was quoted as saying how much does it cost to buy this guy? whilst Cristiano Ronaldo said that the goal deserved to win and would be very difficult for him to attempt. On July 7, 2011, Glenn Torren beat Macedonian side FK Renova in the Europa League first qualifying round after the Glens overturned a 2A Euro 1 away defeat by winning the home leg 2A Euro 1 at the Oval and thus levelling the score on aggregate. The match was decided by penalties. Glenn Torren progressed after winning the shootout 3A Euro 2. Young started his second season very well, with the 2A Euro 1 win away to Crusaders. However, the 2011A Euro 12 season would turn out to be disappointing for Young and the club. Rory Patterson was set to come back at the club but could not agree on the contract following the finance problems. Patterson joined Glentoran's bitter rivals Linfield. 
However, Matty Burroughs returned to the club, but struggled to maintain his place. The club then started to go through a run of poor results, and started to lose supporters. Despite beating Linfield three times, Glen Torren lost in the County Antrim Shield final to Cliftonville, and continued their losing streak in the league. Then on January 14, 2012, Glen Torren were knocked out of the 2011A Euro 12 Irish Cup by amateur league side Newington Youth Club. Young then resigned after the game. Director of football Roy Coyle was put in charge for the match against Ballymena United. Former Lisbon distillery boss Paul Kirk, former Crusaders and Ballymena United boss Roy Walker, former Cliftonville boss Eddie Patterson, and former Colerain boss Marty Quinn were among the possible contenders for the job including former player Pat McGibbon and Ian Foster. Walker and Patterson applied for the job along with McGibbon and Foster on February 1, 2012. Patterson was appointed manager of the club on Wednesday, February 22, 2012. Glenn Torren finished the 2011A Euro 12 league season in sixth place, a massive 28 points behind the league champions, cross city rivals Linfield. However, some consolation came from the fact that they beat Linfield in all four league meetings between the sides that season, without conceding a goal in the process. During the summer of 2012, Patterson made several signings such as Marcus Kane, Jay McGee, and Mark Clark. The Glens started the 2012A Euro 13 season well with a 3A Euro 1 victory over Donegal Celtic. This was followed by three consecutive 1A Euro 1 draws against Glenavon, Cliftonville, and Linfield. One day before the game against Linfield, the club announced the signing of Stuart Elliott who was returning to the club where he made his name before moving across the water to play for Hull City, Motherwell, and Hamilton Academical. Glenn Torren defeated Balina Mallard United 4A Euro 1 and Dunganon Swifts 3A Euro 1 in the space of a week, pushing them up to second in the league. The Glens then secured a 0A Euro 0 home draw against Coleraine in a top-of-the-table clash before defeating Lisbon Distillery 3A Euro 0 a week later. A 1A Euro 1 draw against Ballymena United at the showgrounds made it nine league games unbeaten from the start of the season. However, the unbeaten run came to an end in the next game when Crusaders won 2A Euro 0 at Seaview on October 6, 2012, just five days after an enthralling County Antrim Shield quarter-final defeat against Linfield which saw three goals in the final minutes of the game, ending 3A Euro 2 to Linfield. One week after the Crusaders' loss, Glen Torren were beaten for the second successive league game when Porta down 1-1 a Euro 0 at the Oval. The club's financial problems would soon come to light again. In November 2012 it was reported that the squad had refused to train because they had not received their wages for two months. If the problem continued, it may have reached the stage where the players would have the right to be released from their contracts. Back on the field, the club had mixed results in the next six league games. Three wins, a draw, and two defeats which included a disappointing 2A Euro 1 loss away to Donegal Celtic, left the Glens sitting in fifth place in the league at the end of November, 12 points behind pace setters Cliftonville. Defunct Competitions the 2012A Euro 13 league campaign ultimately ended with the club finishing fourth in the table. However, the season ended on a high note as the Glens overcame favourites and newly crowned league champions Cliftonville 3A Euro 1 after extra time in the Irish Cup final on May 4, 2013. This was the club's first Irish Cup win in nine years.
In the 2014 a Euro 15 season Glenn Torren won another Irish Cup against Portadown and the second under Eddie Patterson. The game was played at the Oval because construction work at Windsor Park had gone wrong and the cop stand was deemed unstable and needed to be knocked down. The game finished 1 a Euro 0 after a very wet afternoon in East Belfast. All Ireland after defeating Carrick Rangers 2 a Euro 0 at home news had broke that Eddie Patterson had been sacked. A club statement was then released explaining that the current position in the table wasn't at best interest from club and fans as the club is under pressure to make progress year on year. It then emerged that the next game would be in the hands of Roy Coyle a former manager at the club as caretaker boss. On November 9, 2015 Alan Kernaghan was appointed as Glen Torren manager. Kernaghan started with some promising results and managed to end the 2015-16 season in fifth position. The Glens made several signings that summer in the hope of returning to the top three and returning to regular European football signing included former Ballymena United goalkeeper Dwayne Nelson, Porta down defender Ross Redman, resigned former player James Farron, Eric Foley from Galway United and the signing of Rangers Spanish legend Nacho Novo The Glens started the season inconsistently with 2-1 a Euro. Zero wins against Dunganon Swifts and Porta down and two defeats against Cliftonville and struggling Carrick Rangers. The pressure starting to mount on Kernaghan was severely increased when they were beaten for a Euro 1 by Cole Rain, with many thinking the writing was on the wall for Kernaghan Rain as manager and following a shock 3 a Euro 2 League Cup defeat to championship side Anak United, Kernaghan resigned as manager of Glen Torren. Gary Haveron succeeded Kernaghan as manager. In January 2017, Glenn Torren suffered a 2A Euro 1 Irish Cup fifth round defeat at the Oval to fierce rivals Linfield after extra time. Reserve Honours Junior Honours Current Squad Glenn Torren runs the Glenn Torren Academy to help promote football to younger players. It is the fastest growing football academy in the country and includes players, both boys and girls from the age of four. The academy also includes a disability section and a Polish language section, where playing for the team requires attendance at training and at English language classes. In 2015 a Euro 16, the club had 44 players representing Northern Ireland at different age groups, twice as many as any other club. In the summer of 2016, four more players left the academy to take up places at English professional clubs' academies. The academy was set up in June 2008. In March 2003, the club's board of directors advised the shareholders of Glen Torren Recreation Company Ltd to sell the oval to a property development holding company called Girona. To date no new ground has materialized. A campaign waged by a group of volunteer supporters called Rest in East, was then set up to keep the club in East Belfast. The club's board of directors have suggested moving close to a town called Comer, well outside the city bounds of Belfast, which the majority of supporters firmly oppose. On November 3, 2005 a fans forum voted 417A00 in favour of forming Glen Torren Community Trust, the first supporters' trust to be formed in Northern Ireland. It was officially formed on May 15, 2006 and registered with the Registry of Companies Belfast under the Industrial and Provident Societies Acts 1965 a Euro 1978. The trust sits completely independent of the parent club, giving the ordinary non-shareholding supporter a voice. On the January 29, 2008, 
the GCT took another historic step in giving the fans a voice, when one of its members, Stephen Henderson was elected to the board of directors by the shareholders of Glen Torren FC. On January 12, 2011, a resolution was passed that gives the GCT two permanent board members. Recently, Glen Torren formed a strategic alliance partnership with Insaka AFC, the football club of the African youth diaspora in the Irish Republic by forming Insaka Glentoran Football Academy at the same time becoming the first club on the island of Ireland to adopt a whole club approach to the UEFA Respect campaign. On May 24, 2016, supporters approved a board recommendation, at the club end of season AGM to demolish and redevelop the Oval into a modern new community-based stadium, over alternative proposed moves to sites at Sydenham and Titanic Quarter. Funding will come from a £1 million amount that has been on hold for the Glens under the government's £1 110M Sports Grounds Improvement Programme that has led to the creation of the new Windsor Park and Ulster Rugby's Kingspan Stadium in tandem with redevelopment at venues across the country. Key, PR a Euro Preliminary Round, QR a Euro Qualifying Round 1 QR a Euro first qualifying round, 1 R a Euro first slash second round, QF a Euro quarter final. As of December 4, 2016. As of the 2016 UEFA club rankings. Asterisk 1 by Glen Torren LL. A Euro 1 by Glen Torren 2. A Euro 1 by Glen Torren 2. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. List only counts permanent managers. Coordinates, 54A degree 36A Euro superscript 211A Euro superscript 3 and 5A degree 53A Euro superscript 229A Euro superscript 3 WI slash I 54.60306A degree and 5.89139A degree WI slash 54.60306. 5.89139 Under 20s squad Former managers